Okay guys, thank you for watching my video. Um, I have here to show you today a Samsung Galaxy S2. Uh, this is the T-Mobile version, the SGH T989. Uh, that runs off uh, T-Mobile's GSM network. Um, it's a nice phone, feels feels very classy. Um, has a nice metallic uh, or metal that goes around the, the, the edge of the phone here, the sides of the phone. Um, really nice. Um, of course, you know, it has a nice uh, back texture here. The, the back of the phone, let me turn this off for a second. Okay, we're going to turn it off. All right. Now, the back of the phone has a nice uh, rubbery feeling right here. A rubbery material. Um, very, it's not smooth like some other Galaxy S2. Um, you could almost feel the uh, the emboldenment here of the uh, Galaxy S2 logo right here that goes across. Now this phone also has a uh, 8 megapixel camera in the rear that um, has flash and autofocus. Now you could also record up to 1080p videos with this camera, the rear camera here in the back. And uh, of course in front there's also another camera right here. And uh, you also have, uh, besides the classy side metal here at the side of the phone, uh, the phone also comes with uh, your headphone jack, your uh, volume rocker here at the side, your charging port at the bottom, including a mic. Um, also, let's take a look at the uh, what it comes with. The uh, box comes with uh, a USB charger here that you plug into the wall, and a USB cable as well. The USB cable that it, that it comes with. Uh, it also comes with a SIM card in the box, and but I'm not going to use that right now, so I'm just going to show you some stuff about the phone here. Uh, okay, once again, let's turn on the phone here, and uh, let's start it up now. Oh, first, before I tur turn on the phone, uh, let me show you the uh, the inside of the phone here in the back. I could take this out here, this back cover here. Okay, very gently here. And uh, of course, the back here you have uh, you have your SIM card slot here. You can put a SIM card. And uh, over here you have a uh, micro SD card slot. Uh, you could put, uh, I believe, uh, up to 33 gigabytes. I'm not sure. You could probably put more, but I believe you could put only up to 32 gigabytes there. Uh, comes with it with a, a 1850 milliamp battery, uh, which is different from the uh, Sprint version, which has only an 1800 milliamp battery. But this has an 1850 milliamp battery, you, so you have some extra juice here you could deal with. And we put this back on here, and uh, we put on back the back cover here now you know this phone is very easy uh, the uh, back cover snaps back into place of course you have a speaker phone back here and uh, let's turn turn it on and uh, see what kind of stuff we get okay so we're gonna turn it on now by pressing the power button okay see how it starts up now Now, of course, down here you have your Android buttons down here. Um, you have your search. It's going to come on now in a few seconds, right there. Your search, your back, your home, your list. And um, see how it starts up. Okay, it starts up now. I have Wi Fi installed, so we're not going to use the SIM card. Okay, we're going to unlock it like that. And you can see here you have a nice display, it has a 4.5 inch display. Uh, Super AMOLED and um, uh, has a lot of native apps that come with the phone here as you can see here I did not install any, any of these apps they come with the phone um, I might have rearranged some but uh, all of these apps here comes with the phone I did not download any apps of course you have a lot of uh, you have your uh, camera app here your web email Netflix you have uh, you have a calendar here, 
um, news of course you have your app draw by clicking down here it takes it to your app draw right here you have more apps including uh, you know your gallery your YouTube your T-Mobile hotspot video player it does not have a video maker but does have a video player uh, Play Store which is always important and of course we're gonna click on settings here and we're gonna take a look at um, uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, about the phone and of course this comes out of the box with Android 4.0.4 as you can see here right out of the box um, of course shows you your model number as well SGHT989 right there at the top over there and uh, we go back now and uh, we go home now one good thing about this phone is that it has a uh, a good note a notification feature just like all of them uh, uh, Samsung phones do especially the Galaxy S2 and 3's uh, you have uh, up here you, you could turn on your Bluetooth right here uh, you could turn on your GPS you have your screen rotation um, you know you could uh, turn on or off we could turn off the Wi-Fi again the Bluetooth the GPS the mute the screen rotation uh, we could turn it back on again just like that well, we'll just leave off these and just uh, leave on the Wi-Fi for the time being there. And let's go back home, All right? Now, okay, let me set this camera properly, okay? Now, of course, this also comes with the camera that I told you about before. And uh, let's take a look at the camera here by pressing the camera app. And, uh, okay, let's take out a test, test picture. Now, this also has flash. Like I told you, right now it's on auto. Let's see if we could take out a picture. Okay, we just took out a picture there. And let's see if we could take out another picture. Um, okay, now as you can see, it, fo it focuses by itself. You don't have to really do anything. Uh, same thing with the camcorder mode. You switch it over to camcorder mode. And uh, you can see how autofocus works. Let's get a piece of paper here, and as soon as I press the red button, it should autofocus by itself to when I start recording. So let's uh, press the red button to start recording now. And as you can see, there it goes. It autofocus right by itself, and which is pretty cool. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to tap the screen. So you know that's pretty good. Let's take this off now. Okay. So yeah, so that's just a demonstration of the uh, phone here, and uh, some other stuff I wanted to show you here on this phone is that um, it's very similar to the Sprint model. Uh, of course, they both have 4.5 inch screen, and uh, you know this phone has a you know you could uh, has a photo gallery, has four home screens as you could see here that you could uh, change or rearrange or stuff like that. To access your widgets, you just uh, hold this down here like that for a couple seconds, and your 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 widget shows up here, which you can choose which ones you want to add to the screen. Uh, say if you want to add a, a YouTube or a, a, a AP a, a AP mobile widget right here, you just uh, click it there, and it should show up right there on the screen. Okay, we can take it out again by holding it down and actually let's go back yeah now if you want to get rid of an app obviously you just you know hold it down like that and you just remove it like that if you want so it's very simple and easy to do okay and uh, so of course to you could also you have a, a task manager here uh, which you could set up as well and uh, you know this is a, a a real nice phone i mean i think it's very classy very light um has a nice big big display that you could use um i just wanted to show you guys uh this version of the samsung galaxy s2 which is the t-mobile version and uh, this is also available in, in white and uh um you know if you guys have any questions you could uh, leave me a message and i'll try to get back to you as soon as I can um, so 
thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. So take care.